Yes, welcome back class 7 to the online bio classes. In the previous class, we had already completed chapter 3, that is Kingdom Classification 2. And also, I have given some answers of section 1. Today, I will start with all the answers of chapter 3 only in this class. So, let's start with section 1. In your book, page number is 66, question number A. Name the following. First question is, I'll just write the answer. Questions are already there in your book. Number one is, animals that do not have backbone, they are called invertebrates. Invertebrates. You can check the spelling from the board while writing in your copy. Write correct spelling. Number two, phylum that consists of animals that have soft, flat, Leaf-like bodies, they are called platyhelminthes. Platyhelminthes, also known as flat worms. The other name of platyhelminthes is flat worms. Then third one is organisms having hard exoskeleton made up of chitin. Such organisms are arthropods. So A R T H R O arthro. P O D A arthropoda you can write or arthropods also you can write. Number four, a special organ for movement in echinoderms. It is called tube feet. Tube feet. Then number five, the phylum to which roundworm belongs is Nematoda. N E M A T O D A Nematoda. And the sixth one is cold-blooded animals with a scaly body. Last time I may have given fishes, I think, Pisces. That is also correct. But better you write the word reptiles. Because they have a scaly body also, as well as they are cold blooded. Then question number B. Choose the correct one. Which of the following is a poor bearing animal? The answer is B. That is, a sponge is a poor bearing animal. Number two. Which of the following animals is not an invertebrate? Answer is D. Snake is not an invertebrate because it comes under vertebrata that have a backbone. Then third one, body segmented and covered with chitin is characteristics of which group? The answer should be cockroach that is number B. And fourth one is tapeworm and ascaris. They are examples of both of them lives as parasite on the body and get food and shelter from our body. And number five, all insects belong to the phylum which is called arthropoda. So five A is correct. Then question number C, we can do it here only. Match the following. Number one, sponges, it matches with number D, that is polyphera. Number two, tapeworms, it matches with E. Then number three, Earthworm, it matches with segmented worms, that is F. Number 4, that is Sar, it matching with uh, B, that is Fish. And fifth one is, when you can match it with A, that is Mammals. Okay? Okay, after match the following, the next question we have is fill in the blanks. Question number D. With the words which are given in bracket, like first question is, oriferans are pouch or poor bearing animals. So correct answer is poor bearing animals. Number two, hydra sponges and worms are invertebrates as they do not have backbone or chitin. So correct answer is backbone. Then the third answer is salamander is an amphibian or arthropod. So correct answer is amphibian here to tick mark. Salamander is an amphibian. The fourth one is in dash animals the body temperature changes with surrounding temperature. The correct answer is cold blooded. In cold blooded animals body temperature changes with the changes in the surrounding temperature. And the fifth one where is aquatic fish or mammal? Well is a aquatic mammal, it's not a fish. Okay? Then next question we have number E. That is choose the correct word and give reasons. First one is cockroach, butterfly, 
Hydra, Scorpio. So number one answer is the odd one is Hydra. And I will write the region also here. Why it is so? Because rest are arthropods. The rest are arthropods. This animal which belongs to arthropods. Number two, the odd one is cockroach. And what is the reason behind it? The rest are vertebrates. Cockroach is invertebrate. Vertebrates is spelling, you know. Now third one, number three, is frog, cockroach, fish, and dog. The odd one is cockroach. That is number three. Number two is rest are vertebrates. Sorry, this one I have done mistake. That is third portion one. Answer is correct, but it should be jellyfish is the odd one. Number two, jellyfish. Alright? Rest are vertebrates, that is correct. Third one is the correct answer is cockroach. This is the odd one, cockroach, okay? And what is the other? Frogs, fish, dog. What are they? So you have to write. Frog, fish, and dog, they are vertebrates. Number two, jellyfish. Yeah. Okay, check once again now. Number one is the odd one, Hydra. Why? Because rest, that is cockroach, butterfly, scorpion, they are arthropoda. Okay, but Hydra is not belonging to that arthropoda. Then number two, we have shark, rohu, jellyfish, goldfish. Jellyfish is invertebrate, rest all are vertebrates. Because you know that jellyfish belongs to a group of organism that is in cnidaria it is present. So cnidaria comes under invertebrate. Now next one is number three, frog, cockroach, fish and dog. The cockroach is invertebrate. And rest all are vertebrates. So same here, rest are vertebrates. Then number four, snake, frog, lizard and crocodile. Only the frog is an amphibian. Rest all, that is snakes, lizards and crocodile, they are reptiles. Okay? Snakes, lizards and all, they are reptiles. Then last one, number five, is snakes, frog, Number five is oyster, snail, and mussel. All these three are mollusca. They belong to the phyla mollusca. But only the starfish is the one which belongs to echinodermata. So rest all belongs to number five. You can write that rest all belongs to or rest are mollusca, members of mollusca. Now section two we have to do. What is the function of the following? Number one, S U C K E R, circle. It helps the flat worms to grip the body I will just rub it and write the function of each and every ok the first question in section 2 question number A first one is what is the function of sucker S U C K E R it helps the flat worms to grip the body of the host it helps the flat worms to hold the body of the host. That is the fun a function of circles. Number two is Sete, C H A E T A. Sete function is it helps in the locomotion of any leader. It helps in the locomotion of any leader. Any leader is also called the segmented worms. And third one is gills. Fish breathe through gills. Fish breathe through gills. The function of gills is it helps 
fishes to breathe or it is the breathing organ of fishes number 4 is tentacles tentacles help in the movement and in catching prey tentacles help in movement and in catching prey prey means the food which we which they eat then number 5 tube feet it helps in locomotion of echinoderms it helps in the locomotion of echinoderms okay now next question we have is differentiate between the following as given in the bracket question number g first one is sea anemone and jellyfish sea anemone has a waist like shape sea anemone has a waist claw waist like shape s h a p e okay whereas jellyfish has an inverted bowl like shape as an inverted b o w n bowl like say so first question completed now number 2 is planaria and earthworm first i'll grab it after that we'll start okay so now next one is question number uh, it is g2 Question number G two, the second one. Planaria and earthworm body type. So what you can write? Two answers are there. Planaria have a soft, flat, and leaf-like body. Planaria have a soft, flat, leaf-like. body okay planaria have a soft flat leaf like body whereas earthworm has a cylindrical body earthworm has a cylindrical body has a cylindrical body that is divided into ring like segments that is divided into ring like segments only one difference is enough then next one number 3 invertebrates and vertebrates example you have to write you can get it from the book also invertebrates I am just giving the error and writing the examples. C S form, Hydra tail form, Hydra tail form, C S form. Many more you can write. And body breaks. The examples are dogs, cats, snake, frogs, dogs, cats. Snake, frog, etc. Then number four. Fourth question is fish and bird organ of locomotion. Fish moves with the help of wings. Sorry, fish moves with the help of fins. Fish moves with the help of their fins. Whereas birds fly with the help of their wings only the organ names we can write fins and wings that is the answer we need wings and fins okay 
So next number five, the last one is arthropoda and echinodermata, body covering. Arthropoda have a hard outer covering. Arthropoda have a hard outer covering. Arthropoda have a hard outer covering made of cheating. It is also called exoskeleton. Made up of chitin. C H I T I N. Chitin is the name of a protein. Whereas echinoderms have a tough skinned body covered with spines. Echinoderms have a tough skinned body covered with spines. Echinoderms have a tough skin body covered with spines. Okay, now next question we have to do is short answer and then the long question answers. Alright? Okay, now we have the short questions. Okay, short answer questions. Number one. Give two examples of phylum Cnidaria. You can see that. Give two examples of phylum Cnidaria. And the answer is, you have to write Hydra and Jellyfish. Number one answer of Cnidaria is Hydra and Jellyfish. Question number two is, what are cold-blooded animals? Name any two cold-blooded animals. So answer is, animals whose body temperature changes with the change in the temperature of the surroundings examples are snake and frog okay so next question is number three why is frog called an amphibian why is frog called an amphibian the answer is frog is called an amphibian because it can live both on land and in water. Only this much answer is there. Frog is called an amphibian because it can live both on land and in water. Now next we have the next question is number four. What are important features of a butterfly? Butterfly means insect. So you can write the important features of a butterfly are their exoskeleton is made up of chitin and their body is divided into a head, thorax and abdomen. Okay, it clear? So important features of butterfly are their exoskeleton is made up of chitin and their body is divided into a head, thorax and abdomen. The next one, the last question is what are characteristic features of mammals? So you can write mammals are warm-blooded animals that give birth to young ones and breathe through lungs. Now long question answers, I will just mark it in the book. Okay, just be careful. Number one, the first question is name two broad groups of kingdom animalia and mention the different subgroups and give Examples of each. It is on page number 19. You can mark the page number also. Page number 59, sorry. First page. So, two groups of animals are vertebrates and invertebrates. This one only you can write. Kingdom Animalia has two groups. Invertebrates and vertebrates. And write down these all also. Like Porifera, Platyhelminthes, Nematoda, Cnidaria, Anilida, Mollusca, Arthropoda, Echinodermata. And give one, one or two, two examples of each. Similarly here, invertebrates, animals with backbone, write all the group names along with examples, one or two examples of each you can write, okay? Now, next question is number two. What are the two forms of Cnidarian and how are they similar or different? It is on page number 60 I have marked. So, page number 60 you can go. Here the Cnidarian paragraph is there. 
the nirarian has two different forms what are they the attached form has a vest like shape the last two paragraphs with the upper edges of the vest surrounded by filament like projections called tentacles example hydra the free living form has inverted bowl like shape with lower edges bearing tentacles example jellyfish up to jellyfish you can write starting from the attached form up to jellyfish you can write okay you can make your own answers and write also no problem okay and what are the similarities similarities are both of them belong to the group called nidaria okay this one you can write and then the next question we have and this answer also you can see questions in text question give two examples i have already written so you can pause the video and write the answers in your book all right now next question we have number 3 compare the basic features of three types of worms it is given on page 61 three types of worms are number 1 flat worms number 2 round worms and the third one is segmented worms so what you have to write in the question is you have to write once again see the question compare the basic features basic feature means you can write any one point like number 1 in flat worms you can write the last point they have one opening for food intake as well as for expulsion of waste from their body example tape worm here in the round worms you can write round worms this point you can write they have a tube like digestive system with a mouth at one end of the body and anus at the other end example ascaris and hook worm then in segmented worms you can write they have a mouth at the tip of the body and anus at the other end if you want you can write second point also but at least one point should be there in each second point you can write is like their body shape they consist of worms that have soft flat leaf like bodies they are also called flat worms here you can write they have long thin cylindrical unsegmented body which tapers at both ends so they are called round worms and in annelida you can write or segmented worms they have long cylindrical body that is divided into segments called annuli now the fourth question is list the similarities and differences between a fish and a bird what are the similarities and what are the differences on page 63 and 64 so first we'll write the similarities fish and bird the similarities are both of them comes under vertebrates that is they are the animals with a backbone then the differences are fishes are cold blooded animals they move with the help of fins and there you can write in case of birds that birds are warm blooded animals and they move with the help of wings they fly with the help of wings so only this much differences if you want to write some more you can write on your own fifth and the last question what are the distinct features of mammals not found in other group of animals it is on page 65 page 64 the last second last page so mammals are mostly terrestrial you can write their body is covered with a fur they are warm blooded they give birth to young ones the female bear mammary glands and feed young ones with their milk they have two pairs of limbs they breathe through lungs so up to lungs you can write okay so we have completed this now picture study this questions are there this one you will try yourself like identify the three animals shown in figure 1 2 3 which animal is this you have to write find it from the book and write it number 2 which animal is that and number 3 this animal name also you have to write which among the above animals are parasites so read the book you will get the answers okay and try to solve it yourself next page you also diagram based questions are there like number 2 see the pictures one and two write their names identify the animals and name the group to which they belong what is the habitat habitat means where are these animals found what is the purpose of the following like number 1 the large pore in animal number 1 a big pore is there what is the function of that big pore then number 3 identify the animals which are shown group name you write and region also you write okay all the three you have to identify on the next page also three more animals are there like what is the name of this animal name of this animal to which group they belong and regions also right so this much only thank you as homework you can complete your uh, this question answers in copy 
Okay, and after watching the video, write your name in the comment section. Thank you.